We are happy you're with us. It is cold here, about 20 degrees, but as we've already discussed, a good day to play football. No wind blowing. Kansas City coming in at 11 and 5. They have won their first division title, the AFC West, since 1971. They go against the Pittsburgh Steelers. They are 9 and 7. They were a division titleist a year ago at 11 and 5, but Al, they have suffered through the second half of the season. They've lost two of their last three. Uh, and Sigler up front. Montana to the air on first down. And over the middle, it's incomplete. The pressure was put on by Kevin Green. Third and five with the ball at the 25-yard line on the opening drive of the game. That's Marcus Allen in motion. Montana, that short drop and a quick pass, and it's knocked down by Dion Figures, their top draft choice, was turned into a free safety in midseason. Double tight end set, second and seven. The catch is made by Jeff Graham, and he has the game's initial first down. Green sets up on the right side. No score early first quarter. And here's Thompson going nowhere. Stopped two yards back of the line of scrimmage by Derek Thomas. Hodge walked off unaided. So it's second and 11, and O'Donnell gets sacked at the 40-yard line. The safety blitz. Third and 17. Hodge is back in out of the shotgun. Under pressure, Hodge on the middle screen. Gets into Kansas City territory, and Merrill Hodge breaks it down to the 27-yard line. So the man who was shaken up spends one play on the sidelines. On second and seven, O'Donnell with a deep drop and great protection and finds the open man. It's Jeff Graham. He takes it to the 15-yard line. He looks all right, though, Dan. Ninth play of the drive. It's second and five. The fake, and then O'Donnell comes back to the near side to Adrian Cooper. Touchdown. Their big tight end is Eric Green. Cooper is the other guy, and the other guy has just scored the first touchdown of postseason play. <laughs> now he's only 10 pounds lighter than the 280-pound Eric Green. O'Donnell was 4 for 4 on that first drive. Montana is 0 for 3. And here's Allen exploiting a hole. And a first down. The Chiefs first out to the 40-yard line. Remember, the league average normally is about 4. This year, 3.9. On second and eight, the pass is a little underthrown and incomplete intended for J.J. Burden, who was covered. Take that in for anything meaningful, but since then, the ball has been high, it's been low, it's been all around. Third down and eight. And Montana this time throws it out of bounds, so he's been high, low, and wide. All right, uh, it's time to take off the gloves, Joe. 36-year-old yep. Bill Cower. Third and a long four. O'Donnell operates from the shotgun throws. Catch is made up at the 38-yard line. Into single coverage back there. It's kind of a quandary for the Chiefs. Third down and eight. Thomas gets double teamed. Oh, and yes. the pass is knocked down by Albert Lewis in his 11th year. He has not completed a pass. He was 0 for 5 with the gloves. And without them, well, he's 0 for 1. On third and 15. Montana guns one for a first down. His first completion to Willie Davis. And Joe took a hit. Against the New York Giants, it was the shot by Leonard Marshall that broke Joe's hand and all sorts of other problems. And then, in effect, he didn't play for two more seasons because of the elbow and back problems. And we've got flags. Oh, we have four flags because of a little skirmish between Hayes. Personal foul. Unnecessary roughness, number 44. He has been ejected. Whoa! Whoa that hurts. First down. That oh. hurts your team to oh. get ejected. He is one of the fine cornerbacks. I think this is a request for an explanation. Yeah. Well, that's what happened <laughs> when four flags are thrown. I suspected that it might be a little bit more than your. It's a first down at the 43-yard line. Dion figures the rookie, the number one draft choice. Baptism by fire now. Huge hole through the middle and breaking it down to the 27 yard line is Kimball Anders. They would go to Buffalo next Sunday or make it, that's the Saturday game. Boy, look there, at oh, Johnson. look at Johnson. He's going up the tunnel. As you walk up the tunnel here at Arrowhead Stadium, the fans are right there and a verbal battle with the fans in the stands. Especially not when you're a target. They can throw something on you from there. Second and six, and Dave Craig, the play fake, and a great catch made in the end zone. J.J. Burton for the touchdown. Oh, and what a number 
J.J. Burden put on Rod Woodson. A drive to the inside, a pump fake by Dave Craig, a plant of the left foot, a break to the outside. It's absolutely a classical zig out move by Burden. 26, he's very quick. Look at the move to the inside. The left foot planted. Woodson totally turned around, and then Burden with a spectacular catch because he had to look to the outside. <laughs> 67,000 yards between them. That's not bad. No. O'Donnell, the fake on first down, backpedal, sets up the screen. Merrill Hodge, who broke one earlier. On what figures to be the final play of the opening quarter. I hit them pretty good. Frank. <laughs> All right, Lynn, it's second down and nine as Leroy Thompson takes it out to the 43-yard line. Third and three at the 42-yard line. The inside handoff out of the shotgun to Merrill Hodge. And he has enough for a first down. He takes it to the 46. He can still break it off. Second and 10 at the 46-yard line. And the catch is made by Jeff Graham. Second and 10 at the 44-yard line. O'Donnell rolling the buy time. A lot of time, but the coverage was there in the Chiefs secondary. And Neil Smith forces him out of bounds. And they lose yardage. Third and 14, so both Smith and Thomas are back in now. O'Donnell, good protection, Whoa. finds the open man. That's a first down to the 28-yard line. The catch made by Ernie Mills. Ross has to come over and clean up. Second and six from the 15. Here's Merrill Hodge for a couple. Takes it to the 13. It'll set up a third and four. 7-7 seven, seven the score. O'Donnell throws incomplete. Good coverage that time. Jeff Graham. That was Derek Thomas working on green. 30-yard field goal attempt for Gary Anderson is good. They'll be playing hockey on that pool tonight. A hearty soul out there today. First and 10 from the 30-yard line. And Marcus Allen gets knocked down at the line of scrimmage by LeVon Kirkland. He is 1 for 9 for 25 yards. Third and 11 at the 29-yard line. Willie Davis in motion. Joe steps up. Joe finds the open man at the 42. Flag goes down. Barnett makes the catch. 15-yard gain. First down at the 44-yard line. Chiefs trail by 3. Montana. And again over the middle. This time it's Keith Cash in the middle of the field. It's a smart place for Kansas City to be. And Cash shaken up comes off as the handoff is. This is a very young, a very active, but inexperienced group in the middle for Pittsburgh. Second and one, so Montana off the play fake gets sacked. And against Pittsburgh, he has been less than average. Only a 69.8 career rating against the Steelers. Third and 13, he was looking for the screen. That wasn't there. Now looking to scramble. Oh, boy. <laughs> Ooh, and he gets taken down at the 41-yard line. For a touchdown last week against Seattle, his 11th blocked mm -hmm. kick in his career. Neil Smith, who's been in and out, is back in on third and three. O'Donnell for Graham, who'd gotten out in front, makes the catch, and he's out of bounds at the 38-yard line. He'd gotten behind Albert Lewis. Steelers leading 10-7. A little fake shovel and an end around to Stone, but read very well by Kansas City, and he's tackled at the 36-yard line. Boy, this is a gutsy call here, Al. Fourth down and seven. At least they're going to line up as if to go for it. With two minutes to go, Pittsburgh up by three. And O'Donnell throws it, and it is dropped at the 31-yard line by Ernie Mills. Now, after... They cannot convert on fourth down. Kansas City takes over, and Montana's pass is through the hands of 151 remaining in the half. Chiefs have all of their timeouts. Pittsburgh on top, 10-7. Montana throws underneath to Allen. Oh. Nice spin move to get away, and then he takes it to the 50. Perfect That's time enough to go have a sandwich when it's over. <laughs> Second and seven from the 48. The blitz, it's picked up. Cash makes the catch. Third down and two. Kansas City with two timeouts remaining. And they try to get the first down on the ground. And Marcus uh, Allen with that second lunge just may have done it. He can do magic. Fourth and a short one. They have one timeout left. 59 seconds remaining in the half. Allen lined up behind Montana. The fake. 
And then Joe goes down, and Joe is tackled at the 49-yard line. So Kansas City risking it at midfield, going for it, and now Pittsburgh's in great shape. 41 seconds. And three timeouts at the Steelers' disposal. With protection, finds Graham over the middle. First down. Toiled the best part of his career here in Kansas City. On first down, O'Donnell over the middle. He's been living over the middle, but too high. Good coverage that time. Green, who led the team in receptions this year with 63, has none today. On second and ten, a little shovel. They like this play. They run it a lot. Merrill Hodge picks up about nine, and now they are clearly in Anderson's field goal range. 10-7 Pittsburgh. Hodge picks up Thomas. The catch is made by Mills. Mills for the touchdown. Oh, and what a move well, by Mills. He says Marcus isn't the only guy that can spin on this field. Take that, Marcus Allen. I can do it myself. Boy, this has been an Ernie Mills first half. Yeah. He's made some big plays. The third wide receiver for the Steelers. First half comes to an end. Neither one of those trips sounds very promising to me. <laughs> well, Houston the, is so the loser. The loser watches it on television. Yeah. Clear skies and a big crowd, but the Pittsburgh Steelers right now 30 minutes away from proceeding and the Chiefs 30 minutes away from going home or staying home. At the seven yard line, it's Woodson. Not past the 40, up to the 47 yard line. Bill Cower was born. And Third. Cower smart to tap into that experience. Third and three. Here is Thompson. Gets outside a Hodge block. But comes up, I believe, a little short of the first down. Going to be very close. Dan Saliamua. Bill Cower is feeling really good about the way things are going today. Yep. And they do indeed run a play. And Thompson picks up the first down. Second and 13. Thompson in motion. The blitz. Heavy pressure, but he gets it away. And Green couldn't handle it. Third and 13. Hodge. Bayless knocks him out of bounds. A flag is down. I would think the Chiefs would decline this penalty. Number 63 on the offense. Five yard penalty. Third down. It is third down and 18 now from the 48 yard line. And O'Donnell gets dropped. The ball is loose. It's picked up by Hodge. Pittsburgh still has it, and now it's fourth and long in the punt. Third and five, and they have to hustle up to the line and get the playoff with one second on the play clock. Montana buying time. Chase throws. Catch made at the 25-yard line by Keith Cash. Third and a short five from the 30-yard line. Eight minutes to go in the third. Allen only to the 32 and the Chiefs will be forced to punt third and nine at the 26 yard line pressure he gets it away and incomplete so the Chiefs that time came or late flag to, including Albert intentional grounding offense whoa Loss it down. Todd McNair in relief of Allen lining up behind Montana second down and eight they give it to McNair off the left side, and Todd McNair breaks it for nine in the first down. Second and seven after Chad Brown comes off the field for Pittsburgh, and Montana on second and seven throws. Anders makes the catch. That's a... And Joe, after that horrible start, has been 10 of his last 13 passes. On first down, he throws. McNair again escapes one man and takes it to the 19, and the crowd has very much come to life. Second and two. From the 11-yard line, Montana flipping it. Burden makes the catch. Figures with the coverage. They're It'll be first it. and goal. They'll give it to him. Yep. Figures knocked him out of bounds. But second and goal. Double tight end set. That was cash in motion. Montana, and it's knocked away at the last moment. Steelers leading 17-7. It's been a scoreless second half. Pump fake. Scrambling. Oh. 
There's Greg Lloyd, and what a big time play. At the six oh. yard line. Ooh, Greg Lloyd, like a halfback, 6'2, 225 pounder. You're not going to juke him, particularly if you're Joe Montana. The only player. Watch this play unfold as Joe scrambles to his left. There is not a stealer anywhere in the vicinity other than Greg Lloyd. You know, he made two plays, Dan. He stopped him from taking right straight up field to the goal, yeah. to the goal line. And then he moved to the outside. 24 yard attempt for Nick Lowry. And the kick is good. Lowry now the most accurate field goal kicker of all time. That's a second and ten from the 33. Thomas puts the pressure on O'Donnell, but he gets it away. And Eric Green makes the catch. Catch a couple. You're right back on stride. First and ten at the 48 yard line. Thompson losing two. Sally Amua will get credit for the tackle and that will be the final play of the third quarter. It is second down and 12. Dwight Stone is the man in motion. Thompson gives it to Stone on a reverse. Escapes from the 35 yard line and turns what would have been a big loss into a pretty nice gain to the Kansas City 44 yard line. And said a very big defensive play here for the Chiefs who rush four. O'Donnell gets protected well and throws too far intended for Ernie Mills. On first and 15. Comes Woodson. They pick him up. The pass is caught at the 46 yard line by Willie Davis. Montana who started the game 0 for 7 oh. hands the ball off to Freddie Jones on an end around. He gets into Steeler territory and is close to a first down. Stopped immediately. Second and a short one. Marcus Allen takes it to the 33 yard line. Barnett in motion. Catch is made by Burton to the 14 and another first down. At the 10 yard line. 9.45 to go. Montana throws. The catch is made by Cash. The tight end takes it inside the five. First and goal at the two. Allen. In again. Touchdown. Yeah. This is 13th of the year. Aren't you a little surprised that Marcus Allen got the ball down there? Stunned. That's an 80 yard drive for Kansas City. At your end of the field. Second and eight from the 28 yard line. O'Donnell buying time and finds Stone who breaks a tackle picks up the first down and Dwight Stone he is never out, went of out of bounds at the 47 oh. yard line of Kansas City. Second and four at the 40 yard line. Here's Thompson. A first down to the 32 yard line. He's tackled by Kevin Ross. First down, Pittsburgh. Third and three at the Chief 25. Mills in motion. O'Donnell to Thompson. Knows where he has to go for the first and gets it. Four yard gain. Scoreboard tied 17 17 first downs are even at 19 each first and 10 and Thompson gets knocked down behind the line of scrimmage Thomas was the first to get him and then Bayless finished him off on second and 11 O'Donnell pump fakes going for the end zone to green touchdown Steelers oh and there's a mocking the crowd with the tomahawk chop. Boy, what a good Russ. read by O'Donnell and a good look off of the safety, Kevin Ross. They need to get a little spark going, and maybe this guy will provide it. Here's Marcus oh. Allen and a big play by Kevin Green. Five-yard loss. Headed towards three minutes, 325 left in this game. On third and 15. Oh, and down wow. he goes in a clump. What a huge series for the Steeler defense and Kevin Green. Brian Barker to punt, Rod Woodson back to receive it. Boy, and he's got a lot of room. 48 yard kick, Woodson goes down at his own 48 yard line. So that's where the Steelers have it.
do not turn over the football. And they haven't turned it over today. And that's a four-yard loss as Thompson gets knocked down back at the... He also can be a disciplinarian. Third and ten at the 47-yard line. Play fake. And oh. no, incomplete. Jeff Graham couldn't hold on. Jay Taylor right there with him. Fourth down. They picked on him all day long. Dale Carter out of the lineup. Well, that's, Ooh, that's that ball was play. drilled right in there, but you could see the right arm of Taylor came right down and knocked the ball out. That was a good play by Taylor. You really can't fault Graham. Mark Royals to punt. Oh, and the blocked. kick is blocked. It is blocked, and this is Jones taking off. He's inside the 20, tackled at the nine-yard line. Who got it? Keith Cash, the big tight end. 6-4, Cash makes the key block in the turnover. Let's take a look at this from behind. Royals does not turn away from the rush coming from the right side. If the Pittsburgh defense comes up huge down here, the game ball goes to Gary Jones. Second and goal from the eight yard line. Montana looking, throwing oh. and incomplete and Keith Cash wants a penalty and won't get it. Wrap around to Marcus and he can take it only to the seven yard line. Gerald Williams makes the tackle. Schottenheimer says timeout. And here is your season right now. Boy, Fourth and goal at the seven yard line. Good protection, Montana oh. throws, touchdown, Tim Barnett. If you didn't believe before, you believe now. Does he work beautifully in the pocket? His initial receiver was covered. He knows where everyone is on that football field. And give that offensive line credit. The Steelers were desperately trying to get into his face. O'Donnell escaping, and Stone dropped the ball. O'Donnell escapes Mickel, and then Stone simply dropped it. Third down and five at the 27-yard line. O'Donnell oh, hit as he throws, and incomplete intended for Graham. Derek Thomas forcing the issue. And in comes Royals to punt again. Boy, what a play by Derek Thomas. Sides trying to pick up the slack for Neil Smith. This time he's on the left side defensively. Boy, that's... Boy, now Kansas City will have plenty of time. Royals to kick. Dane and Hughes, the rookie, back to get it. A lot of room to roam as he takes it at the 24-yard line, but he falls down. At the 28-yard line. Joe firing oh. right on the money into double coverage to Dane and Hughes. How do he do it? <laughs> and he does. Second down with 56 seconds remaining. 20-yard return. He had that much room. Falls down on the punt return, and the next play comes back, catches his yeah. first pass of the day. Uh, couldn't they use that lost yardage on that punt return now? On second and uh -oh. 10, Marcus Allen takes it to the Steeler 46-yard line. That's a first down. Almost within field goal range. Now Montana on first down, throws. He hits Cash, and Cash gets out of bounds. Second down and six at the 42-yard line. He throws. The catch is made again in traffic. And this time it's Burden making the catch at the 33-yard line. So now you're looking at a 50-yard Lowry field goal. Montana says, I'm going to spike it. That stops the clock with 19 seconds. You might be able to do it, but what a thing. What if you didn't do it? Mm -hmm. What if that clock ticked away on you? Second and 10. Screen. Here's McNair. Oh. The catch is made, and he's out of bounds at about the 25-yard oh, oh, oh. line. Is McNair is 48. The ball coming down. Oh, that's on oh, the ground. Oh, yeah. That ball's on well, the ground. You know, this is crazy. Well, you, you finally have a situation here with, with no replay. Lowry's going to attempt a 43-yarder to win the game. 
Barker to hold it. Kansas City no good. does not win the game as Lowry missed it. Perhaps justice, Al. That is justice. They would not have been in field goal range if it weren't for the fact that the officials didn't see the fact that that pass to McNair hit the ground. Overtime, and why not? Last weekend, four regular season games went into overtime. Second and 10 at the 25-yard line. Brown came in on the blitz. Allen takes the pass. Marcus out to the 30. Joe went down. I wouldn't be putting this guy in a position where there are too many unaccounted for guys coming in and hitting him. Gain of five, third and five from the 30-yard line. Montana stepping up, has to get to the 35 for a first down, and appears to be stopped a little short by Kevin Green. Ooh. At the 26-yard line, first and 10. O'Donnell, who's thrown three touchdown passes today, retreating, sets up the screen to Thompson, but he can't go anywhere. He is tackled at the 24. Exposing Kansas City to the big play. Third and six from the 31-yard line. Green in motion. O'Donnell from the shotgun. O'Donnell to Graham. First down out to the 46-yard line. Here comes the blitz. On second and seven. They pick it up, and the pass is incomplete, intended for Stone. Going to be a, uh, a number one priority for this group. Third and seven. O'Donnell stepping to the side. Green has it deflect off his hands. Fourth down. Montana drops it off underneath. This is Marcus Allen, and he picks up six. Montana on second and three. Oh. Throwing, that's enough for a first. Jonathan Hayes makes the catch up at the 49-yard line. On second and eight. Cash. And a big oh. money play for Keith Cash as he takes it to the 32-yard line. This has been a big day. <laughs> Third and six at the 28-yard line. There's oh, Lloyd movement. Was There's offside. a flag and the catch at the 19-yard line. One official yes. looks at the other and he says yes. J.J. Burden. Penalties declined. First down. Well, Greg Lloyd Joe, again trying to yeah. read Montana. Montana's crawled inside Greg Lloyd's head, but then he makes this throw. Left oh, and he gets it in. Oh, that's pretty. He's made one from 23, missed one from 43. Danny Villa to snap it. Brian Barker to hold it. And the Chiefs go to Houston. Mm, what a game. And the teacher beats the student. What a way to kick off the playoffs. Bill Cower will be back. Well, well this one ran the emotional gamut yeah. on both sides. Uh, a dominating first half by Pittsburgh. A fourth down touchdown Montana to Barnett for Kansas City. A missed Lowry field goal in regulation and then a made Lowry field goal 11 minutes and three seconds into overtime.